All right, guys. So in this video, let's talk about choose. So choose also is very important when you are doing your dashboard or you are doing report automation or um, you are trying to generate a dynamic report. You're going to be using um, choose one way or the other. It's a very important function as well. So in the local preference, choose is also very important. So how do you use choose? So choose in this case, I have done um, a three scenarios. Yeah, um, in one of my models, whereby I have a base case, a likely case, and a best case scenario. And then what I'm going to be doing is to have a life case scenario. So I want this to go into my model, then do some um, multiplications and then some output. So um, then I can see between different um, different scenarios. I can see between what's the best case scenario, what is the likely scenario, what is the worst case scenario, or even best case scenario. So I can um go bit i got toggle between different scenarios so now so i have the cost inflation interest rate sales price sales volume and then correct exchange rate all right so these are the things very important for me microeconomic um microeconomic um um fact factors that is very important in my model and also although sales volume and um sales price too i'm not that uh, microeconomic um Factors, but anyways, so these are the um, variables that could cause a huge impact on my model. So I have decided to use choose to toggle between these guys. So what you will need to do right here, um, okay? So I have a data validation here. So I'm going to show you how to go about this in the data validation section. So now then the output is showing some random numbers there. So the first number indicates base case scenario, while the second number indicates um, Okay, so now I'm not supposed to choose from here. So let's say base case scenario, you have one as input, likely scenario, you have two as input, and then best case scenario, you have three as input. So what this is what you're going to use. So I have 2021 to 2025, and I'm going to use choose for each one of these. So I'm going to say, okay, let me clear this off. So I'm going to say, I want to choose. Okay, what is my index number? So if this is three, right i want to, if this is three one or two i wanted to choose yeah so if it is one it's going to choose base so if this two is going to choose likely base likely case and if it is three it's going to choose the best case scenario so i want you to choose between one between then two and three so i want you to choose between these three right so since i'm picking an input from here and then I want this to be fixed, right? So I don't want you to shift from this column. So I'm using absolute reference by pressing Control F4, by pressing, sorry, F4 or Fn plus F4. Then you're able to achieve that. So I'm having likely case here to be 1%. 1% is what? That is the best case scenario. So that is why I'm having this. Let me make this just one. All right, so I'm having one. Okay, so again, what I want to do, I want to change it to base case scenario, and this is giving me 3%, this is one. All right, so I'm going to populate this straight down. So the case, whichever case I'm choosing here is going to display here. So I'm going to choose like the case and all this will change. I'm going to choose best case scenario and all this will change. So that is how you use choose function. There are several ways you can also use choose function to do um, things in your Excel. So depending on what you want to use choose function for, but this is how you use choose function function. So I'm going to be showing you how to play around with row and rows. I'm going to explain that concept and then how you can use rows and, um, and rows in the next video.